Nobody's tattooing my arms. Nobody's tattooing anybody's arm, Vera. It can be done, you know. Mm. I've heard all about them laser beams. Laser beams? Yeah, them and all. I'll just let him try that, so. Look, why don't we do something instead of just sitting here yapping? Like what? Well, I don't know, do I? Take action or something. How do you take action when you don't know what you're taking action against? No, it's happened yet, has it? It soon will, though, won't it? Well, I believe that when I see it, Vera. You live in fairyland, you, don't you? No, I don't, but I do happen to know that you don't get them sort of computers for peanuts. Yeah, well, he's not short of them either, is it, for sure? Look, I mean, Vera, look what it pays us. Vera, if Bolden had enough money to do half of what you reckon he's going to do, he wouldn't be here, would he? He'd be sunning himself on his flipping yacht somewhere, cos that's the sort of brush you'd be talking about. I'll leave this lot with you, then. Right, Mr. Bolden. I'll be at Wetherall's in about, ooh, half an hour if anything important crops up here. Have you any idea what time you'll be back? Twelve, one, you tell me. Um, is there anything else? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. See you later, OK? Right, Mr. Baldwin. Well? Well, what? As I said, how? Oh, oh, about the computerisation? Yeah. Not a word. I, uh, I don't suppose you fancy another brew? I don't know where you put it all, Hilda. It's not half an hour since you had the last one. You've got all our legs or what? Well, I only made that because I thought you fancied one, not because I did. It was only keeping you company. Hilda, if you want another brew, you make it. Just stop going on about it. I'm trying to think, yeah? Well, I'm only asking. And I'm only telling. Morning, workers. Morning. Oh. One of them days, is it? <laughs> Been about as warm and charming as a pound of seam tripe this morning. Mm, got some of his man, love. Well, we all have, haven't we? Doesn't stop you being civil to folk, though, does it? No, I don't suppose it does. Any rod, I can't think what he's got to worry about. Got it made, hasn't he? Billy? Yeah. He makes a muck up of his life in Jersey. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, he didn't come back here because he thought it was the end of the rainbow, now, did he? Oh, no, perhaps he didn't. No. Whilst he's straight into a cushy job, comfy home, <laughs> talk about landing on your feet. I don't think Billy sees it that way, Elder. No, happen it doesn't, but it's true all the same. Mm. Some folk don't know they're born. I'll go and put the kettle on. Well, I hope you have more luck than I had. Nearly got my head bit off when I suggested it. Oh. No, no, no. Eleven o'clock's fine. Yeah, I'll be there. I'll see you then. Right, fine. Uh, Betty. Yeah? I'm nipping out for a bit. There's oh. nothing you can't cope with on your own, is there? Well, oh, not that I can think of. Good girl. Uh, nothing's changed. I don't, you know about the money. Not yet, but I live in hopes. Billy, look, don't you think you should tell your mum? I mean, I've hardly been able to get it out of my mind all night. Yes, I know that, Betty, you have said. Look, what's it going to do to her when she sees it in the paper that you've been taken to court owing all this money? Well, it hasn't come to that, has it? Not yet. And what about this fellow that was here yesterday? He wasn't here to tell you you'd come up on the pools now, was he? Oh, OK, so I've only got a week. It might just be enough. <sighs> do you remember Colin Harvey? Oh, should I? Yeah, me mucker when I ran the Canal Street garage. Ah, oh, it's going back a bit, isn't it? Yeah, he opened a tire and exhaust bay. It took off like a rocket. He's got half a dozen now. He's making a bomb. Yes, but Billy, you've not seen him for ten years or more. I should think he'll recognise you. I'll not lend you all that money. I mean, what chance have you got with him, lovey? I'll be back before opening time. Right. Oh. oh. Right, thanks, thanks very much, Mrs MacDoodle. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't realise there was so much interest in that development plan. Hey? There's another one just asked me how the meeting went last night. Oh, and what was the reaction when she found out you'd been chucked out? Oh, I'm pleased, I suppose. It seems older folk generally are. Yeah, well, that's because they know they can always come here for a chat and to pass the time of day. And they also know that if that place does get open, that'll spell the beginning of the end for little shops like this. All right, all right, Alf. You don't have to convince me. I'm on your side, remember? Yeah, well, I'm sorry, love. It just happens to be something I feel very strongly about. Yeah, so they found out last night at the yeah, council meeting. Yeah, another thing and all. Morning. Hiya. Hello, love. Hey, uh... I stuck my order book through your letterbox earlier on. Yeah, we got it. Well, uh, will you stick these on as well, and mm. I'll collect them later on my way home. Oh, oh no need for that, but I'll drop them in. Half past six, all right. Is that the voice of freedom and democracy I hear? Loud and clear. Ooh. Hey, we'll have a bit less of this Mickey ticket, if you don't mind. I laid my reputation on the line for you last night, you oh, know. Oh, really? Tell us more. That sounds much more interesting than a boring old council meeting. <laughs> and I'm very grateful, Alf. It's nice to know you've still got somebody batting for you when you need it. Well, you've always got that, you know. You know that. Yeah. Thanks, Alf. Uh, by the way, if you're in the uh, Rovers at dinner, 
I think we've got something to celebrate, eh? Right, you're on, on one condition. What's that? I do the buying. And don't try and talk yourself out of it, cos I'm not listening. You're a hard woman, Mrs Fairclough. I know. See you later. <laughs> all over. <sighs> you know, you want to be careful it doesn't get too tight. It'll be very painful. What, Cam? That suit you're wearing. One made out of shining armour. That'll do. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Sorry I'm late, but I had to call in at the council offices. Well, I hope it's worth it. We've still got half the front page to fill. It was. Really? Yeah, I've been tying up the loose ends on last night's planning meeting, haven't I? There aren't any loose ends to tie up, are there? The, the development was thrown out, lock, stock and barrel. End of story. But it isn't, is it? Well, it is according to Alf Roberts. Yeah, that's his version, isn't it? Yes, but he did happen to be at the meeting, you know, which is more than you were. Yeah, I know, but you see, I managed to collar one or two people afterwards, didn't I? People who were there. And? Don't half smell fishy, can you know? Some of Alf Roberts' supporters aren't exactly going to be over the moon when they find out the truth. What truth? About that performance of his last night. He didn't give a thought about what was best for Weatherfield. All he was interested in was what was best for Councillor Roberts. Oh, now, hang on a minute. Yes, I know, but it's true, Ken. Alf Roberts was acting out of a purely selfish motive. All he was interested in was protecting his own livelihood. And that of a certain lady friend of his. And he managed to carry enough independence along with him to swing the vote. And bingo, a perfectly sound scheme that could have brought untold benefits to this town ends up on the scrap heap. Now look, Sally, I don't know where you got hold yes, of it. Yes, I know, but it's a very good story, Ken, believe me. It's also a very serious allegation to make. But I can stand it up, Ken, honestly. I've got all the quotes. Let me just write it up and see what you think. Oh, go on, Ken. It's the biggest story I've ever had. All right, go on. I'll have a look at it. Thanks, Ken. Hey, hang on. Before you make yourself comfy, get that over to the printers. They've been on the phone twice already this morning. It's such a good story. Yeah, all right. I said you can write it. Page one. I said I'll have a look at it. Uh... Blackpool, eh? Yeah, just for a few days, like. Mm. Take Marion and the nipper away for a bit of a break. I still can't imagine Eddie, you know, pushing the pram round, not unless it's full of washing or something. Oh, I can. I think he'd make a smashing dad, will Eddie? Oh, I only wish I could be there to see him. Uh, making sandcastles, having donkey rides, the lot. Yeah, I know that, lovely. When's his little girl going to get to look in? Oh, you don't. <laughs> Oh, no, this is my shout. I'm going straight back home. Uh, no scrapping about it. Go on, then. I'll, uh, I'll just have a half. Ah, he'll have a pint, Betty, and I'll have a vodka and tonic. Oh, well, tell very much. Oh, and uh, what have you fancy yourself, love? Hey, oh. do you mind? Oh, sorry, I got carried away. Take no notice. It's just that last night it's gone to his head. He thinks he's got the right now to speak for everybody. Oh, so that's what you're celebrating, getting that plan chucked out. I was forgetting, love, it was you who were going to oh, thank for that. Well, it wasn't just me, you know. Oh. Now he tells us. Let him go his own beer. <laughs> no, well, you know what I mean. I do. Any road, I for one am very grateful. And so will a few more folk be round here. Little shops like yours and mine are an institution. They're a way of life round here. Hey, I love it. Thank you weren't going to pull them down, were they? No, no, of course not. No, it's just that there's a limit to the number of shops you can support round here now, isn't there? Well, I thought it looked very, very nice on that plan in the record. You know, that big square with trees round and seats there. Oh, uh, yeah, but how long would it stop like that? Oh, it'd have been like a, a football pitch all day and a snogging centre at night. Wouldn't have been safe to go across there after dark. Anyway, it's not going to happen. So, here's to the small trader. Cheers, Al. Thanks again for all your good. Cheers, love, and it was a pleasure, believe me. Wherever have you been? You said you'd be back for all the time. All right, Betty, don't start. I'm not in the mood. How do they think I feel? Stuck here on my own. All right. I'm here now, aren't I? I, um, I take it you were wasting your time, you know, that old mucker of yours from the garage. I was wasting my time before I set foot outside that front door. Oh. Honestly, 300 grand at hardly dent his bank account. Never oh. mind what I'm asking. It was all he could do to give me the time of day. Yeah, I'm ever so sorry, lovey. I really am, but... I'm not a bit surprised, you know. It was a very long shot, wasn't it? I didn't have much choice, did I? You've got even less now, look. Come on, let's have a seat, Ralph. We're going as quick as we can, dear. We're we'll not having this trouble when we've got computers checking oh. in and out. Oh. So it's funny now, is it? Oh, come on, Ida. He's having us on, isn't he? The folks have been putting out the event before now, won't they? Can't you shut up about computers for five minutes? You're putting us off as dinners. You haven't got rather about you. Just give me five minutes, dear. I've got a cat on it, Owen. I'll nip across and see if it's all right. Well, are we going or are we stopping here all day? Do you know, I think Baldwin's right, you know. Our attitude to this place.
place is all wrong, mate. Eh? Well, we've even started nattering his own time now. Come on. Mind your backs, please, girls. Here you go. Got it all wrong, did we, Ivor? There's enough computers in there to run all factory. <laughs> Sake, change the flipping record. Well, what are we gonna do about it? That's what I want to know. Oh, that's what we'd all like to know, isn't it? Well, I reckon there's only one language fellas like Baldwin understand. We down tools so we get a proper explanation of where we stand. Hey, I'm with you there. Oh, that's brilliant, that is, isn't it? We walk out when he's got a load of flipping machines waiting to take us place. Great. All right, clever clock. See if you can come up with something better. Shouldn't you be with them? No, no. Well, to be honest, I'm not sure. Well, you're in the same boat, aren't you? Well, yes, I suppose I am. It's just that I've always had a slightly different relationship with Mr. Baldwin from the rest of the girls. Ah, I cut above that lot, you mean? No, of course I don't. Not like that. I work there the same as they do. But well, I'm a lot closer to Mr. Baldwin than they are. A lot more in his confidence. You see, it puts me in a very difficult situation. Has he confided in you over this uh, computer business? <coughs> oh, no. No, he hasn't. Not really. Wow. Well, then. There's your answer, then, isn't it? Mm. So I can't tempt you there, not even with a wine bar? Oh, I'd love to, Ken. I'm starving and all, but I'm stuck here, aren't I, till Alf gets back? Mm, that'll be another half an hour. At least, I'd say. He's gone off celebrating with Rita. Oh, yes, that's night's nice victory. Yeah, like a dog with two tails this morning. I think the power's gone to his head. Well, I don't think he'd be quite so happy if he knew what people were saying about him. Oh? Uh, Sally was collared by a couple of councillors after last night's meeting, and apparently Alf is not the most popular councillor around here just now. What were they saying? Well, they're saying he took up the battle for purely personal reasons, dismissed the development plans out of hand because of the threat to his business here and to that of a certain lady friend of his. Rita. That's what they're saying. <sighs> well, I suppose when you think about it, it's not so far off the mark, especially not the way he was talking yesterday. Told you what he said. Yes, I know, but can you imagine what Alf will do if Sally tries to get him to confirm it? Oh, nothing spectacular. Just hit the roof and not come down for a week. At least. <sighs> right, see you. Right, Shirley, go down to packing and tell them girls down there. And while you're there, give them a shout in dispatch. They don't all have to come, just as long as there's somebody here. Right. Look, I'm warning you, Ida. You get this lot to walk out, you might as well kick us jobs right through window. Who's on about walking out? Look, no, it's been decided yet. I say, that's what we're having a meeting for. We've got to stick together. We've got to show Baldwin we're solid. I think he's worked that out for himself already. Well, if you ask me, I think we've missed bus by a mile. I mean, we all saw them boxes, didn't we? You know, it wouldn't surprise me if we can't hear every word we say. In fact, he could have his beady little liners right now. Anyone we know, Bill? Oh, it's you, Mr. Baldwin. That's right in person, having a little uh, party, are we? Something to celebrate. Well, don't let me stop you. I'd hate to be the one responsible for delaying your tea break and making you late back for work. Oh, uh, Emily. Me, Mr. Baldwin? Yes. Have you got a minute? No. Yes, well, don't worry. You can come straight back if you want to. Is there anybody else, Shirley? No, that's your lap. Right. Down to business. <laughs> Come on, lads, let's be having you. You might not have homes to go to, but I'll. Oh, hey, dear. Right, oh. Try, love. Try, try. Hey, I wonder if they leave their own homes in the state they live in this place. They'd never live to tell the tale if they did. <laughs> Betty. Yes, love? I've decided to take your advice. My advice? I've just been on the phone to my mum. I'm going to see her. Oh, I, look, it's not going to be easy for you, lovey, but it's all for the best, honest. Yes, I know. So I reckon the sooner I get it over and done with, the better. Yes, I think you're right, you know. So she could fetch an overnight bag with you when you come back. An overnight bag? Oh, yeah, I won't be back tonight, will I? And you know how we're fixed. I can't leave this place empty, can I? Hang on. If you think I'm stopping here on my own... You'll have everything you want. You can have my mum's room. It's not that. Oh, I'll be scared stiff. I'm bad enough in me. I will not know, it. Listen, you were right. Dead right. I do have to see her, put her in the picture before she gets the tale from somebody else. I mean, as you said, if that happens... Oh, Billy. You do make my life difficult at times, love. Do I get my bag packed or don't I? Talk about twisting, flaming arms. I've got no choice, have 
I'm not going to enjoy it, you know. I'm telling you. <laughs> not one little bit. Whatever we do, we've got to stick together because he can't give us all the sack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't be too sure about that. There must have been enough stuff in them boxes to fit out a flipping oh, aircraft yeah. carrier. Wait, wait, how about a sitting? Yeah. Sitting? Well, why not? If walking out will be playing light into his hands, why don't we just stop it? Hey, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. Well, you know what you can do, I know. My husband might not be best company in the world after lights out. But I'll tell you what, it's a damn sight better than them flaming sewing machines. Oh, so much for solidarity. Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Will you shut up? Well, Ivy wants to say something. Well, I was simply going to say it might help if we know what, we, what we're taking action against. Mm. Well, computer yeah. spying on us. Yeah, yeah. taking over our jobs. Yeah. They're being trekked like flaming cattle. But we don't know that, do we, Vera? Oh, well, well, what do you think we're in them boxes, eh? Pat lunches. Yeah. No, I don't, but it seems to me, Vera, that everybody's doing a heck of a lot of spouting and we still don't know where we're going. And that's because we haven't got a flipping clue what we're up against. So what are you saying? Well, I'm saying we do, before we go any further, we do what we should have done at the beginning. We march down to Baldwin's office, we demand to know what's going on, and we don't leave until he tells us. Yeah, well said, Andy. Come on. Hang on a minute, Shirley. We can't all flipping go. Hey, I'll go. I'll sort Baldwin out good and from Oh, but... no, you won't. We may not have jobs now, but we won't have any at all if you chuck your fork for anything. Oh. Look, I reckon Ivy should go. Yeah. Hey? Yeah. 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 Well, if that's what you want, but I think perhaps it'd be better if somebody went with me, all right? Go on, then I'll go with you. I am shop steward. Yeah. Uh, hang on a minute. If she's going, I'm going. Oh, well, there ain't your show we have. Oh, she's the bit. <laughs> right, come on, lass, what we're waiting for. Uh, right, come on, I'm just sitting up for that cleaning ball. Yeah, we have a sitting. We have a sitting. Go on. I'm not going in first. It would hurt, I Oh, come out of my parents. Oh. Look, Mr. Baldwin, we're sorry to bust we in don't on you. We don't like this, bro. No, we not You were saying? Well, where's all these computers you've been going on about? Oh, that's what you wanted to see. Yeah. Be my guest. That. That little thing. Huh. It's not for a kid's toy. Don't be fooled by its size. It's a very versatile little machine. Do you mean that that's it? That's the computerization we're on about? Um, uh, for the moment, yeah. Well, we expected this place being stacked at ceiling. Yeah, what about all them boxes? Um, empty, Vera, all of them empty. Empty? Yeah. You Come mean on. there's no tin of? Uh, ten out of ten, I don't. Well, what, what point of that? Well, if this is all there is to it, why didn't you set them and pour us out of his misery? Yeah. Because I wanted to teach you a lot of lesson you wouldn't forget in a hurry. And with this hanging over your head, production has rocketed, hasn't it? Which makes me very happy. Well, it don't make us very happy. And I'll tell you something else, that lot out there are going to be laughing their socks off when they know what you've been doing. The rag trade is fighting for its life, and so are we, so I suggest you get out there and get those machines moving. Because if you don't, you know what the alternative is, don't you? Now, everybody happy? Well, somebody is, that's for sure. Well? Didn't I tell you it was a cracker? Hmm, yeah, is that all right? In fact, I'd go even further than that. This is dynamite. Well? If one word of that appeared in the recorder, we would be out on the streets before you could say knife. Why? What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? What do you think Alf Roberts is going to make of it? A lawyer could drive a coach and horses through that. He'd take us for every penny we've got. Well, if it's the quotes you're worried about, you know, forget it, because I've got every one of them written down here in my notebook. And every counsellor I spoke to said I could use whatever I wanted to. But that's to. not the point, is it? That makes Alf out to be almost criminal in his single-mindedness to save his own business. And not just his business, All right, either. Rita Fairclough's as well, but that doesn't make it any better, does it? In fact, it makes it a sight worse. There's so much innuendo. But it's such a good story, well, Ken. What about Alf's side of the story? You haven't even approached him. But we've got his side of the story, haven't we? He never admitted that. No, not to me, no. Well, then. But he did to your wife, didn't he? You told me so yourself. We know it's true, Ken. Every word. <laughs> Yes, my love. Have a bottle of lager, please, Betsy. Yeah, can. We dessert your by husband, have you? Mm, looks like it, for half an hour, any road. <laughs> Has that boss of yours come down off his cloud yet? You're joking, it'll be weeks yet. You seem like that at dinner time. Talk about being chuffed with his little self. You'd think he'd slain a flipping dragon. Well, he had, hadn't he? Eh? The great ugly dragon that masquerades under the banner of progress, Mrs Barlow. Destroying our environment, our lives, people's heritage. And for what? 
to make way for a vast concrete jungle. Office blocks that stay vacant for years. Shops that we can't let. Oh, didn't realise you felt so strongly about it. Well, I do, as a matter of fact. If half these developments were replacing something useless with something better, I'd go along with them. But they're not, are they? Well, not half the time. They're not any road. You've got a point there, you know. It depends which side you're on. Oh, and which side are you on? What? With me husband all for it, me boss dead against it, I am champion fence squatter of <laughs> oh, all time. <laughs> Hello, though. I've been keeping it from you. No, I wasn't after noon. I just felt like popping out for half an hour. It's been quite a day. Uh, yeah, I mean. Oh, just a tomato juice. Well, I believe you had a bit of a dust up over the road. It was all very funny, really. Not the way Vera Duckworth and Ivy Tilsley told it, it wasn't. Well, between you and me, I think Norman was as much to blame as anybody. Me? Yes, you. Putting all those ideas in their heads about tattooing numbers on their arms, cutting materials with <laughs> lasers, <laughs> robots. Well, it's all possible. It may well be, but in Mike Baldwin's case, it's highly unlikely. Well, what has he got then? He's bought a little desktop computer to help out with stock control and wages. Well, that'd be quite enough to put the wind up me, I can tell you. They frighten me to death, them things. Well, only because you don't understand them. No, and I never will, neither. I think you would. I felt just the same till I had to go on this one, but I think I'm going to enjoy it. Yeah, well, don't go shouting about it. You'll have them stopping work again. They'll all want one. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's the seal right now till closing time. And it looks a bit lab to do, won't it? No, I'm just going to go out the back, straighten up, and I'll be off. Mm. A Billy. What? Billy Long. Do you have to go tonight? I mean, what can you say to your mum tonight that won't wait till tomorrow? Not a lot, I suppose. Well, go then. Couldn't you go first thing? Oh, you know me. I'm quite liable to change my mind in the mornings, and we don't want anybody else getting to her before I do, do we? So it's now or never. Look, stop worrying. You'll be as safe as houses. <laughs>